Well, good morning, everybody. It's a happy Friday morning. I hope it is happy for everybody, but this is Pastor Randy Scott from Iron Faith Fellowship Church with our morning tidbits and uh, continuing on with confidence and trust. Uh, the Lord's really been impressing that on me uh, each morning uh, when I get up. Uh, and again, I, you know, it's a message for me also, folks. Uh, uh, you know, anybody that knows me uh, that's uh, at our fellowship know that uh, I'm a pastor, that if the word does not speak to me first, I don't feel led by the Holy Spirit to share to our congregation. Uh, I always feel the Lord should uh, the, the word the, the Lord's word should speak uh, to the pastor first. That that we deal with ourselves and we deal with issues in our lives uh, before we present a message to, to other congregations. Uh, we need to do that. But anyhow, let's get back to tidbits. Uh, that didn't cost you any extra, a little bit of time, but. Uh, you know, our confidence and trust, uh, I mean, if we make the Lord our everything always, we will have less problems with trust and confidence. Because, see, our confidence won't be in ourselves. Our confidence will be in our Lord because we know he will make provision. He will provide a way always. Again, we've always got to be reminded about Hebrews that uh, he said he would never leave us nor forsake us. He's there. He is with you now. You're in his presence. I pray that you're taking time for that now to, to, to thank him and, and glorify him and, and, and lift him up. And uh, uh, the more you do that, uh, the more you come into that place of faith that, that you don't want to start your day without Jesus <laughs> in the middle of it. Uh, the stronger you be, the more confident you be, the more faithful you will be. Uh, the word that, that came up when I woke up this morning. You know, uh, Psalm 27, 1, uh, you know, isn't, isn't that amazing? I, the, the Holy Spirit is just awesome. Uh, I love waking up uh, and just thinking of the Lord just, just right off. And folks, no, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to put on this holier than thou thing. I, I've i been making every effort. Lord, I don't want to go to sleep without you, and I don't want to wake up without you. And, uh, uh, man, that's just really inspired my life. And uh, I hope these little tidbits are, are inspiring you, encouraging you uh, to, to seek your faith, to build yourselves up in your faith, uh, to be in the word of God more. And uh, again, yeah, you know, I talk uh, probably more than I need to, but uh, let's go to the word. Psalm 27, one says, the Lord is my light in my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. In whom shall I be afraid? Wow. You know, the psalmist, uh, if you read the psalms, it, it just drives home the fact that it's the Lord who does it all. It's the Lord who carries everyone. It's the Lord who guides your steps. It's the Lord who will take care of your enemies. It's the Lord who will heal you, who will deliver you, who will manifest himself to you if you're faithful and come before him with thanksgiving and praise. People think it's crazy when you get out there and think, well, I mean, it's about the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Yes, it is. It is. It's about the Lord. Believers in our lives, without him, we are nothing. He's our strength. He's our salvation. He's our rock. He's our redeemer. We should be excited to be in his presence daily. Excited. I don't care what we're going through. And folks, you know, and I, I don't like to share this stuff all the time. But we, I, I've been through things. I've been through things. I've lost many loved ones and, and been through those kind of things, but the Lord has sustained me through them all. And uh, he will sustain you. So keep your eyes on the prize, the upward call of Jesus Christ, forgetting what's behind and pressing on to what's ahead. God loves you. He loves you. He gave his son for you. That's how much he loves you. And if there's someone out there that doesn't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, oh, that they would come to know him today, that they would be set free. Folks, I wasn't born in a religious family, a church-going family. I was born into a, a, a sinful family. Uh, you know, uh, we're all uh, born into that situation in most cases. Some families, uh, you, you know, you're raised up in a Christian home. That was not the case in my life. So this stuff was all new to me. I know I had an uncle I stayed with that preached the gospel all the time, drove us nuts. But you know, today, today, wow, if not for Jesus, 
if not for Jesus. So folks, take time. Just thank God. Be grateful for what you have. Look around you. If you have a home, you have a table to sit at. If you have some peanut butter and jelly to munch on, praise God for that moment. Thank you all. Be blessed. Love you so much, but he loves you more. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for this day. This is the day you'll made, you have made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you. We praise you and we bless you for all we have, all we are, and all we're going to be. Father, I pray that you would strengthen us more than ever, that folks are seeking your face more than ever, that, Father, we come back better, stronger, more faithful, wanting to testify, wanting to be a witness to a lost and dying world. There are people out there dying and going to hell every day. Church, we need to make a difference. We need to be the difference. We don't need to be the traditional. We need to be better. We need to be more faithful. We need to be surrendered wholly to our Lord and Savior. And Father, I thank you for that privilege to be able to do that. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Folks, be blessed. I love you again. Have an awesome day. Uh, man, I, I would take more time, but I promise this would be tidbits. So folks, we will see you, uh, those of you, hopefully join us on Sunday morning uh, for our service. Uh, it's going to be on trust, believe it or not. The Lord just impressed that on my heart. And uh, we'll be back here with morning tidbits on Monday morning at 10 a.m. Join us. Be blessed. Don't stress. Let Jesus handle the mess. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.